Across from Topeka's most notorious landmark sits the Equality House, the headquarters of a peace charity, and on June 22nd, the site of a same-sex wedding ceremony. So I prepared for a sudden shower of fire and brimstone, knocked on their door, and said, take me to your leader. My name is Davis Hammett. I'm the Director of Operations for Planning Peace. I got involved in the organization about a year ago. Uh, Aaron Jackson, the founder of the charity, is a family friend of mine. After I uh, graduated college, I wanted to dedicate my life to social justice, so I just got involved with that. Um, so I was actually one of the founders. I moved in here in January as one of the founders of the Quality House. All of our neighbors love that we're here. We've had tons of them cook us dinner. They all come by. I mean, every day we have over 100 people visit. We've had um, a family from Australia actually flew in to Topeka. They came to America just to see this house, which is pretty incredible. We've had people stop by from all over the world, from all over the country. Tons of people who have never stopped in Topeka that make the commute between Denver and Kansas City uh, stopped in Topeka for the first time in, you know, decades and they end up finding out that they like the place and now they're stopping in every now and then to check in with us and they end up eating at local businesses and stuff. So we're glad that the community has embraced us and we're uh, glad that we're able to bring more tourism into the community. Tourism was taken care of today as people gathered from miles around. Husband and wife from Kansas City. Mother and daughter from Salina, Kansas. My name's Jorge and I'm from Lawrence. Michael um, Hillary and I'm from Atlanta. Uh, Dr. Sam Bradshaw and this is my <laughs> wife Marge. I'm a psychiatrist at the VA and I've been there for years. And they've been picketing years. us forever. <laughs> my name is Mia Capuano and I am an intern with Planting Peace here at the Equality House. I'm Lucas. I'm Rena. And we're from Kansas City. We came for the lemonade. <laughs> and to contribute, which and we contribute, did. And contribute, which, which we, we did. did. We saw this on the Happy Gay Day Facebook page and we decided we should come out and support the awesome couple that's getting married today. Have a Gay Day, a grassroots Facebook group based in Ohio, was being represented in person. My name is Michael and what brought me here was Aaron invited me, one of the owners of the Equality House, to come out and go to a wedding and talk with him about the future endeavors of my Facebook page, Have a Gay Day. His uh, content is just really uh, cheerful and stuff. It's just someone who I've been in contact. He's working on starting a charity, also fighting for um, human rights. And so we invited him up here. But I'm here giving away t-shirts and stickers and things. And I just took my picture with Shirley Phelps, which was, uh, I don't know if it was good or bad. I'm still a little mixed on my emotions, but it happened. Topeka is historically a place of social justice. A lot of people don't realize that it's where Brown vs. Board of Education happened. Washburn University had the first uh, black graduate in law school. It's really incredible that um, now it has this image for bigotry, but really historically it's been amazingly progressive and we're glad to reshine that light on this part of the country. Because equality is important. I don't know how to dumb that down any further. <laughs> I mean, we're right next to Lawrence, and Lawrence is pretty open-minded, and I think Topeka is getting there, too. And we just have um, a bit of a shadow cast on us. Hopefully it'll be a boost to Topeka, rather than something that the nation just looks at us and goes, no, those people. <laughs> I was actually uh, scared. Whenever I first found out we were gonna come here, I was like, Kansas, that backward state? I got here and I immediately ate my words. I, uh, I'm from the South and this place has Southern comfort, but it has a really progressive mindset. I've met um, probably, it's more progressive per capita here in Topeka than I've really found any other place in the country. I've been to San Francisco and uh, New York City is where I was living before I came up here. So it's been uh, shockingly wonderful here. I'm very happy to be in Topeka. Today we are setting up a same-sex wedding right across the street from our lovely neighbors, the Westboro Baptist Church. Um, we have the brides hanging out inside, stressing out a little bit. We have some volunteers in the back setting up the chairs for the reception. And we have our special guest, Michael, from Have a Gay Day, and he's meeting with his fans. It's not legal because we're in Kansas and uh, gay marriage isn't legal here. Um, the brides are from Little Rock, Arkansas. It's not legal there either. Um, so in a way, it's mostly symbolic, but it, obviously it's very real for the couple. So while it's not legally binding, it is still binding. Our goal is to put on a really beautiful wedding and just let people know this is two, uh, two people in love and it shouldn't matter their gender, that's irrelevant, it's not your business and it's especially not our government's business to discriminate against people. Things were coming together to look like just about every wedding. There were volunteers setting up the ceremony area, the bird safe basket of bubble bottles, guests getting hammered, and having kids. Aside from family and people out of town, this event drew a large crowd of local spectators. So while neighbors looked on, or just played basketball, two people were wed before the Lord, the color-coordinated Little Free Library, 
and probably some NSA spy satellite. We are hoping that this helps Topeka's image. I'm from Missouri, so when I started telling people, oh, I'm going to school in Topeka, they'd say, isn't that where the Westboro Baptist Church is? Now I, now I get a couple people saying, well, isn't that where the Equality House is? Politics are really nasty right now, and our goal is to kind of spread a little love in the world, and hopefully if we do our job in 10 years or so, politics won't be so nasty. Hopefully we can become a um, country that really, you know, out of many come one, and that's supposed to be what America's all about, is embracing diversity. Uh our love is real, um, so important that it's seen in the state's eyes, in all states' eyes, equality, we deserve equal rights. We all have our own views on the issue, but there's one thing we can all agree on. Topeka is still making history.